Well, I wouldn't be ringing you if I didn't need to. I wasn't going to see you. OK, I've got to go. Morning. Morning. Come in, call centres. Broadband at home's playing up again. I'll try again later. Right. You know, by the way, Michelle, it's just occurred to me that I've never said what happens in the office stays in the office, yeah? Of course. Only I need to know that I can rely on you. Well, why shouldn't you? Right, well, in that case, Cathy Walsh at Gomez is waiting on some samples. Why don't you take them over to her and introduce yourself? <laughs> in your car? Well, if you'd rather take a bus. No, no, the car's fine. <laughs> Good. OK, I've got to go and check the cerise. I think we're low. We need it for the Jennings order. this okay hiya hiya um just a tonic water please ice and slice not drinking oh no i better not carla's letting me use the car i'm trying to enjoy she must be mellowing in her old age <laughs> she reckons i'm ready for more responsibility <laughs> <laughs> kieran have you got a minute yeah sure Up. Right. You remember I told you I thought Carla was up to something? Have you? Well, I caught her on the phone this morning and she lied about who she was talking to. How do you know? Because when she went out, I pressed redial and got Peter Barlow's mobile. Okay. Kieran, Carla and Peter. No. Don't buy it for a second. When he answered the phone, it was all like, I told you not to ring me a summit. No, oh, hi, Carla. This is a surprise. I'll say it again. Not Peter. Oh, you mean the bigamist? The man who likes living on the edge and you can't tell me she's not sexy? So you're saying she's only giving you the car to keep you sweet? 